Alex, and everyone's favorite bird, and everyone's favorite bird, everyone's favorite bird, Archie! <laughs>to buy ingredients for this tutorial and instead I came away with two bookshelves, a phone case, a glass mug, a bunny light, a cute tumbler and a bunch of food. But the most important thing that I got was this colour mist, some pink food dye and a bunch of white chocolate. Well it was a day much like any other. I was having a browse through Facebook and I came across yet another viral food trend. Now the issue with living here in Australia is that we always seem to be the last to get anything like this. The rainbow donuts, the watermelon ice cream, the blue tacos, we're always last to get it. So when I saw this two pound Nutella heart, I thought to myself, you know what, I don't want to go all the way to America for that. I don't want to wait for some cafe to start selling it here. I'm going to make it. Now normally when I see something and I say to myself, hey, I reckon I could do that. I normally don't. I normally think I can do it and then I feel too lazy and I don't actually do it. But this time, I'm so proud of myself because I actually have gone ahead and got what I needed and I'm actually going to do it. I guess that just goes to show how much I care about Nutella. You know that rule, it's like rule 34 of the internet? Well, I've come up with a new rule and that is if it exists, they sell it on Wish. Sure enough, I went on the site, typed in geometric love heart mold. I did have to spend about 25 minutes searching, but I found one. And I have it right here. So we're gonna open it up, have a look at it, and then get started with the tutorial. This only took a week to arrive, which was so surprising because there's a few things I ordered about two months ago that still haven't come yet. So I'm very, very happy this came so soon. Now, I'm so glad this is the right one. This is the one that they were using in the video. I can't believe it. I can't believe I actually found this. I'm so happy. All right, well, here it is. It's pretty big. I'm glad that it's this big because it needs to fit one pound of Nutella. No, it needs to fit two pounds of Nutella. Yeah, it was a two, it's a two pound Nutella heart. Yeah, ow, ow, stop. Well, that's the back of it. It's got these things on it so that it actually sits flat on whatever surface that you put it on. We'll have to give it a wash. It smells really bad. It smells like paint, but it's silicon. So it looks like it's going to pop out easily once we've made it. I mean, really all we need for this, I'm assuming, now, I've never seen this done before, other than in that insider video, so I'm kind of making this up as I go. But I'm assuming that what we're going to need is chocolate, obviously. The one in the video was gold, but as you might have noticed, my username is Pretty Pastel, please, not Pretty Metallic, please. So I'm going to put my own spin on this. I also have two pounds of Nutella. I'm amazed that this survived the car ride home, because normally I would just... I also have this color mist. This was ridiculously expensive, but I have a vision in my head of how this is going to look and I really hope that this turns out the way I think it will. And I've also got food colouring. That's basically all you need. When you think about it, it's just a love heart with Nutella inside. So let's get started. For those of you that are new here, this is my feathered son, Archie. If you don't like birds or you don't like bird noises, I highly advise that you leave the video now because he's not going anywhere. You, you've been warned. Don't complain about the bird. You've been warned. I really hope this is as simple as I think it's going to be. I'm just going to put white chocolate melts into the microwave. Quantity wise, these are 225 grams, so I'll try and microwave both of them at the same time. I'm just going to put this in the microwave for 40 seconds. I'll take it out, stir it, put it in again for another 40 seconds, and I'm just going to keep doing that until it's all melted. That's all melted, so I'm just going to put it into a couple of different bowls. I have three here because I'm going to do three colours today. Okay, I'm going to put in the food colouring before I put in the chocolate. I just find it a little bit easier to control the quantity of the colour that way. So I'll just put a couple of drops of blue, a couple of drops of pink, and just one drop of this purple because this is ube extract. Ube is a type of sweet potato, and this is very, very pigmented. I'm assuming that I can probably just pour this in to a couple of different spots like this. Hey Dan, yeah. can you come and film?
film this from a different angle for me? Okay, I'm just gonna get the spatula and I'm just going to kind of press it all around the edges to cover the whole thing. Now, <laughs> in theory, I was assuming that all the colors would stay separated, but maybe I'm not gonna be so lucky. Well, it's kind of, kind of happening. I'm gonna put this in the fridge to set and then I'm gonna do another layer exactly the same way. What are you doing? Archie, you want a peanut? You have wings, why don't you use them? Yay! Good job! There you go, you can have it. <laughs> okay, now take it over there. Go on. Take it over there. Go on. Go on. You can't have it here. Now I'm guessing that the most important thing here is that ooh, all the nooks and crannies have to be completely covered. It really needs to be very, very thick because you want that satisfying crack just like what happened in the original video where they, they break it in half and it makes this really satisfying crack. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get it as thick as I possibly can. So I think I might have to do maybe three layers. Something really important. I think we'll probably have to scrape the edges. Cool, back in the freezer. Auntie, do you want a peanut? Trolled, you're not getting one. <laughs> All right, let's pull it out of the freezer and see how it's looking. It's pretty firm now, but I think we're gonna go in with another layer just in case it's not enough. I wonder if I should do a fourth coat. Okay, I have a bad feeling that I'm not gonna have enough chocolate. I might actually have to put milk chocolate on the bottom instead of white chocolate, but that doesn't matter because it's gonna be on the base, so you're not gonna see it. <sighs> yeah, that, that's all the chocolate. I just used all the white chocolate to coat the inside. I swear to God, if this isn't satisfying to crack into, I'm gonna cry. I feel like breaking open a two pound Nutella heart is ASMR. This is going to be an ASMR video on its, on its own. Just me breaking this heart in half and the Nutella oozing out. Who needs slime when you have Nutella? I think I'm gonna pour some milk chocolate on the inside just to give it a little bit more thickness. Okay, luckily I still had some milk chocolate in the cupboard. So I'm just going to pour this in there. I let it just cool down a little bit because I don't want the hot chocolate going directly onto the cold chocolate and possibly melting through it. ASMR. Heaps of people have been asking me to do a video with Archie. It's probably the most requested thing on my channel. Please do a Q&A with your bird. So I'm going to. If you have any questions about Archie, please drop them down below. We're gonna film a little video all about him, maybe like his, his daily routine, his morning and night routine, his cage, how old he is, all these sort of things. So drop some questions for us down below. I'm really, really excited to have an excuse to talk about my baby for like an hour. A couple of fun facts about Archie. You can tell if a bird is happy because their body language is really like loose. When they're stressed, they kind of get all tight like this and their wings are really, really close to their body and they make themselves all skinny and they freak out. But when they're really happy, they fluff up and their wings kind of droop out a little bit. So we say that's where the happiness is stored. And he does this really funny thing when he's trying to get comfortable, if he's really happy and content, he kind of goes, like that and he flaps his wings and he does it like three times and Dan and I call it a triple flap because the triple flap is what you want. If he does a triple flap then you know he's really really happy. So sometimes when I give him a scratch like this he'll do it. Look see see the wings? See they're popping out? The happiness is overflowing. Okay here it is. Now we're gonna chuck in the Nutella. I don't think this is going to fit two pounds of Nutella to be honest. I don't think it's quite big enough for that but we'll see. That would have made a great ASMR video. <laughs> that was so cool. All right guys, now the whole point of this video is so that if you want to enjoy something like this, you don't have to go all the way to New York City. So I will put the link to where I bought this silicon mold down below. Wow, this is actually fitting the entire two pounds. I, I'm really surprised. I didn't think it would fit anywhere near this much. I feel like this would be an awesome idea for a gift. I mean, they marketed it as a Valentine's Day thing, but <laughs> Next time it's someone's birthday, I think I'm just gonna make them one of these. I think you could have a lot of fun with what's on the outside. On the bottom of the mold, you could put different shapes or you could potentially maybe write something on the inside and then pour the chocolate over the top. Well, that's basically the whole two pounds. Listen to me talking in pounds. In Australia, it's a kilo. I'm just going to get out any air bubbles. I feel like I actually put in a bit too much. Yeah, I think I did. I think I should scoop some of this out. 
I want it to be below the surface of the mold. You know, Dan told me I should make one before I film the video. You know, I should practice it. But I thought, oh, I think it'll be fun to let them watch me fail terribly. I hope you're amused. Yeah, that's better. It was <laughs> overflowing before. I think I'm just gonna pour this chocolate over the top and hope that it sets. This is basically what they were doing in the video. We'll put that in the fridge for 10 minutes and then hope for the best. All right guys, well it's been a good few hours since we put that heart in the fridge. So we put it in and I left it for 10 minutes, came back, it was not set. So I put it back again for another 10 minutes. It was still not set. So we had to go out. We've been out, we've come back. So we're gonna take it out of the fridge. You wanna join us? Come on. Okay, you gonna pull the heart out with us? Are we going to break a heart together? Yes, I think so. You take that. <laughs> so mistrusting. <sighs> I'm so nervous. What if this doesn't work, dear? Oh my gosh, I don't think it's gonna come off from the edges. <gasps> it's silicone. Okay, wait. Hang on, I'll put Archie on my shoulder, you film. Oh, this is so stressful. I have been stressing about this for hours. Okay. It is quite satisfying. This is the first time I've ever used a silicon mold with chocolate. Oh dear, we're caught. We're stuck. We're stuck. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to do this. <gasps> if I break this, I'm going to cry. Okay, I kind of screwed up on the edges a lot by letting it go over. Maybe I can clean that up a little bit. Just a bit. Okay. Oh, it's so beautiful. Wow. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever made in my entire life. And it's probably the most beautiful thing I will ever make. <laughs> okay. Wow. So now we have to use this spray but I don't want to spray this with Archie around <laughs> because fun fact, Eclectus parrots have very sensitive lungs. So he's not going to hang around for the spraying of the heart. Come on, you go, go over there, go on. Oh, I know you want to stay. Look, he wants to watch. He's like, what is that? <laughs> okay, can you go put him in the bathroom? Before spraying, practice on a paper towel to become familiar with the spray application. Hold the can at 45 degree angle, six inches from the area. $18. It's for Instagram. There's no budget for Instagram. If I go through all of this, I'm gonna be so peeved. Okay, they said spray it on paper towel. Okay. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, I have a good feeling about this. I think this is going to work. Okay, ready? It's so beautiful! Okay. It doesn't, oh, it does, it, ooh, it actually smells like spray paint. It's edible. It is edible, I promise it's edible. It came from a food shop. Don't touch it. What paint? Yeah, I could use this as a highlighter. <laughs> Forget Anastasia Beverly Hills, we'll just use food spray paint on my cheeks. <laughs> Tired and we want to go to bed. <laughs> okay. What? No, we're not breaking it like that, Daniel. No, put the rolling pin away. What if it's a solid on the inside? It's not going to be solid. Yes, it is. I'm going to crack it. I'm going to pick it up and crack it. Oh my gosh. 
That's 100% confidence. Just crack it. Okay, ready? Oh my god, it's too dense. I can't crack it. No! In engineering, we call this a dummy joint. Wait, get the knife out of the way. That's not aesthetic. Okay, go. <gasps> what if it's a solid on the inside? It's not going to be solid. What the hell? No! Shame. Ding! Shame. Shame. What if it's a solid on the inside? It's not going to be solid. This is. I think the problem here is that we left it in the fridge for too long. And then Nutella solidified. It was meant to ooze when we cracked it open. Damn it. That is so annoying. I can't believe that didn't ooze. That is so heartbreaking. Round two, we don't put as much chocolate on the inside. It has to be thinner because that was way too hard to crack. So thinner on the inside and don't refrigerate it for as long so that the Nutella doesn't solidify so that when you actually crack it in half, the Nutella oozes. Round two. <laughs> Two layers wasn't enough. That's the mess of attempt number two. And here's attempt number three. Okay, this is it guys. This is the moment of truth. <laughs> well, it partially worked. Partially. Oh my God. <laughs> I reckon if you actually gave that to someone, if you refrigerated it, took it out of the fridge, left it for a little while to come back to room temperature, and then gave it to someone, it would be very, very satisfying for that person to crack it open. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. You can find me on Instagram, Pretty Pastel Please, if you want to catch up with our day-to-day -day lives, see Archie's daily vlogs on my story over on Instagram. That's where we are all the time. 
Don't forget to subscribe, we've got a bunch of other videos coming out soon, including some really fun Wish hauls. I've got a whole bunch of kitchen gadgets from Wish, including this one and a bunch of others, so keep an eye out for that video too. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Mwah! Yeah, I'm gonna need that.